We're just a tiny speck in the immense cosmic darkness, drifting on a planet we call Earth. The scale of the universe is beyond imagination, and when we consider our place in it, we realize how small and fragile we truly are. In 1990, Voyager 1, after traveling billions of kilometers, was convinced by Carl Sagan and others to turn its camera back toward Earth. What it captured became known as the pale blue dot, a stunning image showing Earth as a minuscule dot suspended in a beam of sunlight. This image symbolized how alone and precious our planet is in the vast expanse of space. That single image changed how we view ourselves. From a cosmic perspective, our wars, conflicts, and divisions seem pointless. Sagan famously said, look again at that dot. That's home. That's us. The photo became Earth's first true selfie, and a powerful reminder of our shared responsibility to protect our planet. But Voyager 1's mission didn't end with a photograph. It continued on its path, exploring areas of space that no human-made object had ever reached. It entered the interstellar medium, a region far beyond the influence of our sun. This makes Voyager 1 the first spacecraft in history to leave the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the sun's solar wind. While traveling through this mysterious territory, Voyager 1 began detecting fast radio bursts, FRBs, brief but intense pulses of radio radiation that last for only a millisecond. Scientists have recorded more than 500 of these bursts, and the majority are irregular, happening once and then disappearing forever. Their origins remain unknown, adding another cosmic mystery to our growing list. These radio bursts are not coming from known sources like stars or galaxies. Some researchers have speculated they may be connected to magnetars, highly magnetic neutron stars, but even this explanation doesn't cover all of the anomalies. The randomness and intensity of these signals suggest a source that we don't fully understand. Neil deGrasse Tyson mentioned that Voyager 1 had recorded over 500 strange cosmic signals, signals that baffled even the most seasoned researchers. When the data was thoroughly analyzed, what appeared were objects drifting in space that defied known patterns. These were not stars, not comets, and not space junk. Scientists around the world were both excited and confused. Some believed these objects might be new types of celestial bodies, while others theorized they could be evidence of phenomena we've never encountered. Despite many attempts to explain them, the truth remains elusive. Voyager 1 launched in 1977 and was only expected to work for five years. Now, nearly 50 years later, it's still operational, one of the greatest achievements in the history of space exploration. Moving at over 17 kilometers per second, it has traveled more than 14.5 billion miles from Earth. Its longevity was never guaranteed, but its design has stood the test of time. At first, some scientists questioned the reliability of Voyager 1's recent data. They suspected instrumental errors due to its age. But those doubts were put to rest. Voyager 1's dual redundant computer systems and fault tolerant design have kept it running despite the harsh conditions of deep space. One of the biggest challenges facing Voyager 1 is power management. The spacecraft uses radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which slowly produce less power over time. To conserve energy, NASA engineers have been shutting down non-essential instruments, ensuring that vital systems stay online. The engineers have also implemented new battery charging techniques and optimized power delivery. These innovative solutions have allowed Voyager 1 to continue transmitting data, making discoveries far beyond its original mission. Professor Brian Cox remarked, Voyager 1 continues to be the most successful deep space mission humanity has ever created. It's a window into the unknown, a tool that keeps delivering long after its supposed expiry date. Despite its age, Voyager 1 is still transmitting vital information to Earth. Its signals take more than 22 hours to reach us. Yet, even now, it beams back new data that helps researchers map the outer limits of our solar system and beyond. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.